Hi friends, this week I'm sharing the recipe for clear shrimp and pork dumplings. These dumplings have a deliciously chewy and silky texture and inside are savory morsels of shrimp and pork. Join me in this video and I'll share my recipe for making this tasty dish. For the dumpling filling, have pork shoulder or pork loin, shrimp, garlic, a shallot, sugar, fish sauce, salt, paprika, ground black pepper, and vegetable oil. For the dumpling skin, have tapioca starch, salt, vegetable oil, and cold water. The scallion oil requires green onions, vegetable oil, salt, and ground black pepper. And for the fish sauce dipping sauce, have sugar, lime juice, water, fish sauce, and red chilies. Starting first with the pork, cut it into slices about a quarter inch thick. Now cut the pork into thin strips. For the shrimp, simply cut in half. If using larger shrimp, cut into thirds. Peel and mince the garlic. And for the shallot, finely dice. Divide the minced garlic in half and add some to the shrimp and some to the pork. And do the same for the shallots. Add a quarter teaspoon sugar to the shrimp and pork. To the pork, add the paprika and fish sauce. Season the shrimp with just a little bit of salt. Add freshly ground black pepper to the pork and shrimp. Combine together and allow to marinate for 15 minutes. Heat a wok over medium-high heat and when hot, add vegetable oil and half a teaspoon sugar. Cook for 10 to 15 seconds until the melted sugar just starts to turn golden. Add the remaining minced garlic and diced shallots and stir-fry quickly for 10 seconds. Add the marinated pork and stir-fry for 3 minutes. Now add the shrimp and continue stir-frying for another 2 minutes. Add just a little bit more paprika powder and then combine together. Transfer the filling to a plate and allow to cool. Tear off a sheet of parchment paper about 16 inches long. Fold the sheet in half and then in half again. And then once more, fold in half and then in half again to make these small sections. Next, use a knife to cut out the parchment pieces. Repeat this process with two more sheets of parchment paper. In a medium saucepan, add the tapioca starch, salt, vegetable oil, and cold water. Whisk together until the starch is completely dissolved. Over a low heat, warm the starch mixture, stirring constantly. In five to six minutes, the starch mixture will start to thicken and stick to the whisk. Once small clumps of starch start to form, quickly remove from the heat. Continue whisking the starch quickly. Notice that it's still mostly liquid, but it will start to thicken very fast. After a minute or so, the mixture should be smooth and have the consistency of cake batter. Return the pan to the stove and continue cooking over a low heat and stirring constantly. Cook for another minute, allowing it to thicken further. Now it should have the consistency of a thick pudding. Transfer into a bowl and allow to cool for five minutes. To make the dumplings, take a section of parchment paper and fold it in half. This is to keep it from curling. Take about two and a half teaspoons of the dough and spread it on the parchment paper. Spread the dough into a circle about two and a half inches in diameter. In the center, add a piece of the shrimp and pork. Fold the parchment section in half and then press gently along the edges to seal the dumpling. Take a small glass and use this to clean up the dough along the edges and to shape it into a half circle. Do the same for the other side as well. You can also use a small dish or a round cookie cutter. Be sure to use the non-sharp side as to not cut the parchment paper. Continue making the dumplings until all of the dough and filling are used. Optionally, fold the parchment paper into a triangle and this gives you more corners to hold on to when shaping the dumpling. Bring a large pot of water to a rapid boil and then reduce the heat to medium. Add half of the dumplings and boil gently. In about 5 minutes, the dumplings will float to the top. Gently rotate them and boil for another 5 minutes. Fill a large bowl with water and then add ice. Transfer the dumplings into the ice water and allow to soak for two to three minutes. This stops the cooking process and makes the dumplings translucent. Transfer to a colander and let drain for a few minutes. 
Repeat the same steps for the second batch. You can also steam these dumplings and you want to steam them for 10 minutes. To make the fish sauce dipping sauce, add sugar, lime juice, water, and fish sauce. Stir together until the sugar is dissolved. Finally, add chopped red chilies. Chop the green onions and then add into a small bowl. Add vegetable oil, some salt, and pepper. Now toss together. Microwave on high for 20 seconds. To serve the dumplings, brush a little bit of oil onto a plate. Gently peel back the parchment paper and then transfer the dumpling onto the plate. Top with the scallion oil and serve with the dipping sauce. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.